former Bear and one of the greatest running backs to ever play at Northwestern, but now he's sharing his personal struggle with the after effects of football and brain trauma. Please welcome my friend, Mike Adamley, and his wife, Kim. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kim. Nice to see you, too. Mike, first off, this is very brave of you to come out and be so public with this. Why is this important to get this message out for you? Well, I mean, there's, if you love football, you want to get that message out, you know? And uh, if you go back, Google search Theodore Roosevelt. A hundred years ago, he, he played football and his son played football, but he, he almost wanted the game to be stopped because it was so violent back then, believe it or not. Now, a hundred years later, we're talking about the same thing. And it's such a shame because the sport is so powerful, and I don't mean it figuratively, but um, you look at uh, some of my life has been shaped by playing football. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see the game go away? Do no, you want to no, see no, changes no, no. to the game? First of all, it's not going to go away. Okay. And it's created a lot of, uh, for young kids and who go on to college and later on in the professional ranks, um, what would you like to see differently with the game? Well, obviously, everybody wants to see people come out safer. I don't know if that's possible. Right. Football is kind of a, a, a physics equation. Mass times acceleration equals mm -hmm. force. Guys are bigger. Guys are faster. Mm -hmm. To that, for that being said, I think you can make it safer. Yeah, we're learning so much more about the direct correlation with dementia, CTE, which cannot be completely diagnosed until post-death, but the effects and the signs that you show, Mike, when did you know something was wrong and what were you experiencing? Um, well, for 19 years I've had epilepsy and that was, I was on the air one day and uh, all of a sudden I, I just, I was going, Michael Jordan scored 23 points tonight as the Bulls beat the Trailblazers 126, 121. And while that was happening, I felt like my, this tidal wave was coming out. And when I was all done, uh, I went to my office and I saw it didn't look like anything was happening, but uh, my shirt was all dripping wet, and I went to a neurologist here in town that we became friends with, and he said, you know, Mike, uh, you have a lesion on your left temporal hemisphere mm. probably caused by football. And as the years went on, I mean, I, you could see it. There's nothing worse than standing in front of a, a, a television, and you see these people, you know, in the audience, and then you, you know, flip-flop words or make a mistake, mm -hmm. and it's, it's kind of embarrassing. So eventually I needed to, to do right. something about it. Cause right. I, I, and everything that was going on with you, I want to bring you in, Kim, mm -hmm. had an impact on your marriage too, right? Kim, speak to that. Well, the, the symptoms, Ryan, that you're talking about for CTE, um, CTE is it's, it, it's a long degeneration, and it starts with symptoms of, um, of usually in mood. Uh, impulsivity, rage, um, um, aggression, and, and, and also just uh, the decision making. So it starts wreaking havoc in your life. Right. You don't know what's going on. You're d on this downhill decline mm -hmm. and you start in these cycles of just crisis management. And so at this time when this was happening with Mike, you know, in the early 2000s, we had no idea what was going on. But eventually it led to pretty, pretty uh, cataclysmic decisions and impact on our family where we did it was too much stress for the marriage and right. we ended up divorcing you right. divorced and then but you remarried we remarried there's a happy we ending there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. wait maybe Kim should be doing that yeah okay. I know I'm kidding <laughs> But when we found out what was going, we 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 remained friends. It. Yeah, the lo it wasn't that the love was gone, but the stress tore apart the marriage. So when we knew what was going on, and we knew the situation that it would only get worse, we reunited as a family. And so we're all in this together. This right. is our family together working. Right, together. and not only. Are you together? But now I know, Mike, you're really trying to get the word out with your foundation. What are you doing with the foundation to try to help and educate others? Uh, Kim's probably better uh, suited to answer this question. I will just say that there are, I'm not the only one. When this first came out, I got letters you couldn't believe and from f families and, f and a lot of former football players, too, that we know each other. Sure. Just my part of it is that y you don't have to disappear. You know, I think what happens, uh, that old Douglas MacArthur, uh, old soldiers never die, they just fade away. And the same thing is true with football players. We don't want to be seen. We're not what we used to be. And so I'm just there to show people that you can go out and you can see people and you can do things, you know. Um, that's my part of it. Yeah. Right. And tell us about the event coming up, Kim. 
March 1st is our official launch of the Mike Adamley Project Rise Above. It's going to be at the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame and we want everybody to come. We, this is going to be a celebration. This is what Mike um, is all about. Uh, he's all heart, uh, CTE, there's no there's no cure for it, but we're showing, he's showing how you can live with it. Kim, I gotta ask you this, is there a way though to, to grow healthier brain tissue? Even though there's no cure for CTE, is right. there some hope right. there? Right, there, there is. Um, and it's all about a lifestyle change. And we talk about these things, that's what we wanna share with people to give them hope. But just to give you a little bit of, of concrete evidence, this was good news to us. So when Mike was first told he has probable CTE, all the signs in, beginning of 2016. The next two years, we've worked to do everything we could find to promote brain health. And in the last two years, Mike has had no significant brain loss mm. as shown by his MRI. That's, That's fantastic. That's wonderful. Yeah. So I love there you. is hope. Kim, thank you so much.